Let us now discuss rational numbers exercise 1.1 rationalized addition. So the first question here is name the property under multiplication used in each of the following. So you have to tell which property is used in all these three parts. Let us take the first part. The first part is minus 4 by 5 into 1 is equal to 1 into minus 4 by 5 is equal to minus 4 by 5. So here minus 4 by 5 is multiplied to 1. So what you are getting? The same number minus 4 by 5. And here you are multiplying 1 to minus 4 by 5. So what you are getting? Minus 4 by 5 again. So the same number. So which property is used here? One is the multiplicative identity. If any rational number A is there, you multiply it to 1, you get the same rational number. Or you multiply 1 to any rational number A, you get the same rational number. So you can clearly see that this property is used here. Which is that property? 1 is the multiplicative identity. You can write down. 1 is the multiplicative identity. Now let us discuss the second part. So here it is minus 13 by 17 into minus 2 by 7 is equal to minus 2 by 7 into minus 13 by 17. So you can see on both the sides the same numbers are used. You can see minus 13 by 17 here also minus 13 by 17. Here minus 2 by 7 here also minus 2 by 7. But you can see the order is changed. Here we are multiplying two rational numbers in any order. So that property is called commutative property. If there are two rational numbers A and B. So A into B is equal to B into A. So which property is used here? This is commutative property. So this is commutative property. Let us discuss the third part. So here minus 19 upon 29 into 29 upon minus 19 is equal to 1. So here you can see that this number is the reciprocal of this number. In reciprocal the numerator comes into the denominator and the denominator goes in the numerator. So the reciprocal of minus 19 upon 29 is 29 upon minus 19. So when you multiply the number to its reciprocal or multiplicative inverse you get the multiplicative identity that is 1. So which property is used here? Multiplicative inverse or reciprocal. Let us write it down. Multiplicative inverse or reciprocal. Now let us discuss the second question. Tell what property allows you to compute this as this. So here the three rational numbers are multiplied. Here also the same three rational numbers are multiplied. But the order is changed. Here we are multiplying 6 to 4 by 3 and then the result is multiplied to 1 by 3. Here what is happening? Here 1 by 3 is multiplied to 6. And then the result is multiplied to 4 by 3. So which type of property is this? This is associative property. If you have three rational numbers A, B and C. So here you can see first we multiply B to C and then the result is multiplied to A. That is same as multiplying A to B first and then the result is being multiplied to C. So we say that multiplication is associated for rational numbers. So this property only is used here. So what is this property? Let us write it down. Associative property. Let us now discuss the third question. The product of two rational numbers is always a rational number. 